Good morning. My name is Jerry Donio, and today I'm going to be talking about how life is living in the Cayman Islands. So let's start off with the pros of living in the Cayman Islands. So obviously, number one, living in the Cayman Islands, beautiful beaches. I mean, where can the world are you going to find crystal clear water with a consistent temperature of over 25 degrees Celsius, regardless of what time of year it is. Sure, there's going to be rain, and then there's going to be summer, and then there's going to be your tropical storm months, but regardless, every day is going to be nice and warm. And sometimes, for me anyways, it's going to be really nice, just have a little bit of rain sometimes. Besides the lovely beaches, the lifestyle. The lifestyle here cannot be compared to anything back home in North America. The small island, the quiet lifestyle, you know, back home for me, living back home, I had a commute time of more than an hour and a half. You know, and with that hour and a half of commute time here, it's 15 minutes if you live in town. Maybe if you want to live outside of town where it's a much more peaceful and less traffic, you can just have a 30 minute commute. But you know, that saves you one hour every day of your life there and back just on commuting to work every day. So you know, that is one one very, very good perk of living here in the Cayman Islands. Talking about lifestyle, you know, here in the Cayman Islands, the best part is, for most people, you start work at 8 o'clock, you finish work at 4 o'clock, you go home, you take a shower by 4.30, depending on you, you can go to the beach. Imagine going to the beach every single day and just enjoying these views, enjoying the lifestyle it brings. Imagine where in this world can you just go home, take a quick shower, put on your swimming gear, and come in and enjoy this pristine and picture-perfect water. You can go snorkeling, you can go on a sea do you can do paddle boarding. I mean, you can even go diving. And I know for a fact that what the Cayman Islands here has some of the best diving spots in the world. And one of the very few places in the world where they have bioluminescence at night. I mean, that is just picture perfect and I mean, whoa. Oh, the water here is beautiful and the beaches are nice. And another con is their infrastructure, especially on the roads. Their road system here is absolutely atrocious. Just atrocious. I've seen road work where they had a pothole and they literally put gravel into the ground and within two days all that gravel is going to be knocked out away after multiple cars or hundreds of cars hitting that same hole and ripping the rocks out of that hole and you got the same problem again. And two, when it rains, the roads flood. They flood like mad. You know, it's nothing drastic, but in some places it gets up to a foot of water just because it's starting to rain outside and they don't have proper drainage. Like back home, you develop your roads in which you have a one or two or three, four or five degree angle in which it gets drained into a storm sewer here? No, nothing. They don't even have storm sewers here. Hell, they don't even make ditches here. So, you know, that's one, one bad thing about the Cayman Islands, which I really don't like. And with all this money being spent on, they're gonna try and build a $500 million port. They're building an airport, which is about $90 million so far. And they're talking about Cayman dollars. Like one Cayman dollar is equivalent to 1.2 US dollars or 1.6 Canadian dollars. And you know, with this high value dollar, what you can get back home for the same kind of construction is way, 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 way less. So that's also one thing to take into consideration. Speaking on roads here, one bad thing I really don't like about the roads is just how some of them are just simply designed. 
you have entrances and exits out of buildings in which you have multiple blind spots in which you have to peek your vehicle out into oncoming traffic so you have clear visibility to see if there's gonna be a car coming. If you have a small little car, there are shrubs, there are fences, there are signs that are in your way which you can't even properly and safely see out of unless if you have like a truck or maybe even a SUV properly and safely to drive out into oncoming traffic. So that's another another thing I really don't like about the Cayman Islands. As much as I love their food here, living here for approximately eight months now, you get to see all the variations of what restaurants there are here in the island and coming to some at multiple times kind of gets repetitive in which that I wish they had more variety here. Um, they don't have any Korean barbecue. They don't have any true genuine Chinese food. It's all just very Americanized. Uh, same with Vietnamese food, Taiwanese food, even uh, food from India. Here, it's uh, it's a little bit questionable, but you know a person like me who loves food and enjoys different cultures of food and trying all experiences like this, it's, a, it's one big letdown and it's a little bit disappointing considering here is such a tourist destination and they bring lots of people from around the world and they're trying to welcome these people, but their food selection is not very good. I won't say this is a pro or a con, but the cost of living here. With making so much money here in the Cayman Islands because of the value of your dollar, you know, the cost of living here is pretty high. I understand that when you come here, if you want to import anything, you're going to be charged a 22% tax. So everybody who brings their food from America or who buys products from another country and ships it here are going to be charged about 22 to 27% in taxes for an import fee. So that's one reason why some of the prices here are a little bit high compared to back home. But taking into consideration with the lifestyle of what you get here, it's not too bad. And speaking which, your lifestyle. Here, with the cost of living, if you want to live near the beach, if you want to live near in town, you're going to be paying that premium. And you know, with each person own needs in life, in their home, and depending on what they want and how much they make, you can truly save a lot of money here in the Cayman Islands if you're willing to take a little bit of sacrifices in which you don't have to get the best of the best and you're just going to settle for something that's okay in which you can save money. Here in a couple of years, you can save tens of thousands of dollars and maybe if you're lucky enough to get a really good high paying job, even more than back home, you can maybe even save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like I said, it depends on how much you make and what you do for a living. But I know for a fact, you can save money here easily if you have just a regular lifestyle and you're willing to cook at home and compromise on a few small things in life. I'm not saying to get the worst apartment or get the worst of a vehicle down here. But if you're some okay with something okay, it will pay off in your future. And that's my recommendation to anybody that's willing to come down here because boy, is it ever beautiful down here. And I wish to anybody to come down here to learn and watch from this video because boy, you can have so much fun and meet so many nice. And for any gamers out there like myself, if you're worried about coming down here and seeing what your ping is like, for me personally, I only got a MacBook, so I can't play any games that are too intensive, so I just play League of Legends right now, and I get about 65 ping in the North American server. I don't know what it would be like if I tried the Latin server, but um, with 65 ping, I don't have any issues 
Uh, you know, the one thing that I just have one comment about is the internet down here. Um, they say it's fiber optic. I don't know. I don't have any proof to prove that. But the price of internet down here is uh, very, very, very high considering um, what we have back home for the same price in services. So that's one consideration. Uh, myself, I personally have 25 Mbps at home and uh, that does us well. And with today's video, I just want to say thank you for everybody who came by my channel and took a look. I know that I have lots of work to do in my vlogging skills as this is my first time uh, doing this and video editing and photo editing, um, anything of this sort of nature. So I just want to say thank you again and I appreciate your patience and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Also, I will just give you guys a small snippet of a walk around the beach here on the Cayman Islands. The beach is called Seven Mile Beach and I wish everyone have a good day. Thank you. And here is a picture of the beach. Imagine this could be your playground every day depending on your lifestyle if you want. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. Just look.